What's going on everybody, it's Dilmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can record your pass-through experiences by using SCRCPY. This application is going to allow you to connect to an Android device and it's going to basically show you what you see on the device but in your computer. This is going to allow us to record the pass-through experiences. I'm also going to show you how to crop it, how to change the bit rate, and different settings that are going to allow you to demo the experiences that you're building with pass-through. I also wanted to thank Greg Madison for sharing with me some of the crop settings and settings that he uses with his team at Unity to be able to record the experiences that are building with pass-through. So let's jump into my computer and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing today, which is to go over a couple of commands that are going to help you in recording with pass-through. So what I ended up doing is creating a new repo that it's called the Oculus Pass-Through Recording. And it basically has all the different commands that you're going to be able to run. Just know that you can also use SideQuest and SideQuest pretty much does the same commands. I'm gonna show you both versions. If you wanna use a GUI, you can use a GUI. If you wanna use a command line, you can use a command line. But the application that I'm gonna be using is the SCRCPY, which is very common among the Android developers where you can basically just connect to a device and basically see what the device is seen kind of like doing a remote connection, except that it's, it's actually really, really fast. So what I'm going to have you do is if you're running, you know, if you're running Ubuntu, you can do this. If you're running Arc Linux, you can do this. I'm running on Windows, so I downloaded the application, which is what you see on PowerShell on the left side. So I'm gonna be running those commands by using PowerShell, but you can, you know, you can follow along by using Linux as well. So if we go back, let's go ahead and get back to the repo. You're gonna see that I have a couple, couple of different options in here. This is gonna be the default command, so you can do, let me make this a little bigger. You can do this command by default and it's going to connect to a device and just know that your Oculus Quest is going to have to be connected either via Wi-Fi. If you do it via Wi-Fi, you're gonna to have to have ADB over Wi-Fi enabled, which you can also enable through the Oculus Developer Hub. I'm just going to assume that you're going to be using a USB-C connection. It's gonna be faster. It's gonna be dedicated to, you know, connected to the device. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And then you got different crop options in here that we're gonna be running through. Also, different bit rate options. If you want a higher resolution, you can change the bit rate and just know that the higher the number, the slower that is going to be the video. So just make sure that you use a number. I ended up just doing, you know, eight megabits per second and that actually works really well. It's it, it looks decent, so I recommend that you do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and connect to my device. So if I go ahead and let me just type in scrcpy.exe and hit enter. And as soon as you do that, you're gonna see that I have two different screens. And the reason for that is because I'm not currently cropping. I'm basically just showing you both different eyes. So this is the left eye here and this is the right eye. We're gonna be changing that, but just know that we that I'm gonna be opening an application right now just to show you. So the application that I'm gonna be opening is going to be one that I did for the channel and it uses pass-through, which is the main reason why I'm doing this video. So you guys can see the pass-through now and the, the funny part is when I was doing this video, one of the guys at Unity who is uh, Greg Madison, he's an amazing developer and creator, he noticed that I was using my phone. Basically what I was, what I was doing is I had, I had my device and I was trying to hold my phone position it right behind the the actual lens. And I was recording that way. I was basically zooming out and trying to position my device in a way that I could do recording. And obviously the, the resolution and the look was really, really bad compared to what you see right now. So you can see, you know, if I go into the experience and we bring something in, you're gonna see that everything works well, right? I can see my hands. And normally if you don't use this application to, you know, to basically do recording, let me go ahead and close out of it you're gonna see a black screen. If you do the screen recording on the on the actual Oculus Quest 2, all you're gonna see is a black screen. You're not gonna be able to see the actual pass-through. And that's because Facebook or Meta, they are basically trying to keep, you know, privacy. I think it's more like Oculus trying to do that on Facebook. I'm not gonna talk about that. But but anyways, they're trying to keep that more private. And that's why the, the, the real world, you can't really see it when you're doing, you know, when you're doing recording. So, Let's say that you wanted to do something like this if you wanted to, you know, crop both eyes. And in this case, it's gonna be running at 3664 by 1920. 
zero, zero. I believe this is basically, the, you know, the pivot point where it's going to start cropping. And you can also designate how fast you want, you know, you want to go to a max of 30 frames per second. So if I were to just run this, we can just paste that. And it's going to look exactly what, we, what it looked before because this is going to be the default. It's going to be both eyes actually rendering on the video. So if you wanted to do just one eye, let's say I wanted to crop this on the left eye, I can run this command, which is going to be it's basically using just one of the eye resolutions, which is 1832 by 1920, happen to be that resolution on the Oculus Quest 2. So if I were to paste that, and you're gonna see that now it's gonna be nicely and beautiful because we're only rendering one eye, which is mo mostly what we're going to be doing. So if I wanted to touch, you know, if I wanted to bring, let's bring the window here close to me, I can also move this one here. So. If you're building experiences for, you know, the use pass through, I think it's going to be a really good way to record those experiences because it's not, it's, go, it's not going to be the hacky way that I ended up doing by having my phone right behind the lens. It actually looks really good. Okay, so let's close this. Let's try something different. So if you wanted to use the other eye, you can do this one as well. I'm just, you know, like starting at 1832 which basically puts me in the, I think it's going to extend it. It's going to start at zero, basically in the middle and then extend it all the way. And then it's gonna to go to a maximum of 30 frames per second. If you wanted to do more of a center area, this I got it from the screen that I'm gonna show you, you know, in just a few seconds, where Greg just told me some of the settings that Unity is currently using for, you know, to show off their experience. So I ended up just trying those, trying that to see what it would give me. So if I were to paste that, let me try to copy this one more time and, and paste it. And now the way that we see this one, this one is basically just center, right? It's a, it's basically the center frame. And I can also see my hands, I can look around and, and everything everything looks good. We can just, you know, I can have a cup of coffee and the coffee fell off. Okay, okay, oh well. And that fell off as well. And I think it's because I don't have enough space in here to move around, but, but you get the idea. So. This is going to be basically a bounding box in, in the center of, you know, the one of the eyes. So if I go here, you're going to see this is a really helpful image that was provided by Unity. And you can see some of the settings that are currently using the bit rate. This is going to be very helpful if you want to get high resolution versus low resolution. If you want to crop the image, I show you how this one this one works. In this case, this is basically not cropping anything. It's just basically showing you both of the eyes. In this one, if you wanted to crop it, you can crop it at 1832 and then column zero, you can crop in. And this is mostly what I would be using for, you know, to show experiences. And I like how they're, yeah, starting at the middle and ba basically extending all the way across. And this one is, is doing the right eye. If you don't do 1832 and you do basically zero, zero, it's basically gonna do the left box. So you can do that as well. And this is the one that I just did, which basically is just a center. It's basically center on the right eye and just showing you basically what's important. If you wanted to do that, you could also do that. You could also crop it here if you wanted to crop it. I think what I'm going to use is this one. You're more than welcome to use this one. And then they also have different settings for full screen. If you want to disable device control, if you want to change the max frames per second, you can do that. And also the max size is also helpful when it comes to, you know, trying to determine what the size of what you're going to be recording. So, and this is basically a screenshot taken from SideQuest, which I'm going to show you as well. So if we get back in here and let's say that you want to, you also wanted to change the bit rate, right? And this is a table that I also put together to, if you guys want to record a 720 pixel video, it's about 6.5 megabits per second. So this number is going to have to be 6.5 in order to get to that. And by default, it's going to be a megabits per second. So that's going to put you somewhere between 1080p and 720p. So if you wanted to leave it by default, which is what I've been doing, then that's going to, that's just going to look right. It's going to look good, right? It's going to look just like this. And if we go back, let me do the one where we can do, we can do both eyes. The default is going to work fine. If you wanted to, you know, crop it yourself in editing, you can do that. But you're going to see the dots in here a little bit is because it's using, you know, the A megabits per second. So let's say that you wanted to do a much higher number. We can do something like this and then I'll just go ahead and, and change it. Let's say that you wanted to do. So if you look at the table right here, if you wanted to do a 4K video for whatever reason, let's say that I do 45. You can also change the bitrate to be 45M. 
and then we're gonna see. So now it looks really, really nice, right? It's gonna be, it's probably not, it's not that slow, but it's gonna look really good. You can probably just read the, you know, the labels really good. If I get close to this window here and then, you know, move it around, you can just move this one around. We can see if I get it a little closer, let me see if I can get it closer to me so we can read the follow me. I can close it and we can bring something in here and you're gonna be able to read everything a lot better because you know we're, we're using high resolution and this is something that i could probably do for a show off type of video but if you wanted to go something like a lot smaller let's say that we go so if we go back into the table this is 720 6.5 let's say that i would do let's say that i do 1m and that should give me a very pixelated version of the video as well you can kind of see the dots in here that are currently pixelated so if i go back through and then we can do, I don't know if you can do decimals in here, but I would assume that you can. Okay, so it looks like you can only do, you can only do either one and above, or you can do you know, larger numbers. So it kind of gives you an idea of what these ones are. So this one is gonna be the default if you wanna just connect to a device. These are going to allow you to change the frames per second and also to crop the video. And then the big rate options are really helpful if you wanna show a higher resolution video. I would also look at this when it comes to using the SideQuest. So let me show you how the SideQuest works. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the SideQuest application. And the way this works is you can click on this if you wanted to stream it. And you know, the same settings that I showed you before, you can basically type them in here. And if you wanna leave everything by default, I think everything is just going to work. Let's say that I change this to be 30 frames per second. This one could be, high, the max size could be 1920. If you wanna do casting, you can do casting. If you wanna do just a stream, which is what I just did, you can, you can also do that. Obviously, this doesn't look right because the settings that I have provided are not accurate, but you can change them, you can change them in here. So if I wanted to say, we go back in here, we do something like this, where we are rendering and cropping correctly, and we can go, go back in here and then paste it, and I think that's everything. And we do, now you, we're gonna get the same result because behind the scenes, SideQuest is just using the same, you know, the same application that I'm using when I'm doing it through the command line. So this repo, it's available in github.com. You guys can go into it. And if you wanna download it, I have the link in here. If you wanna look at Greg Madison and the Unity Teams reference image, I would look at this which is also in the repo. And I'm also going to be putting the SideQuest download. So basically it's going to be the app that SideQuest provides. But other than that, this is everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions about this, or if you wanna see more videos of me giving you tips on Oculus devices, on Vive devices, I mean, you name it, anything with VR and AR or XR in general, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys.